Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a special video for you guys. I will finally be showing you guys my Harry Potter room. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button and while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I have some really cool videos coming up soon, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the video. All right, so you're gonna have to excuse me. I may or may not whip out my British accent here and there, so <laughs> fair warning. But this is my room of requirement, which is inside of my beauty room. Um, I do have a beauty room tour, so make sure to check that out. But this is actually supposed to be the closet inside my beauty room. But I had a different vision, <laughs> as you will see. So, um, I don't know, even know where to start, honestly. I'm so excited. But uh, this is the rug. This is supposed to be an outdoor rug, so it's very, very uncomfortable. But it says, Wizards Welcome, Muggles Tolerated. And I already had this rug, and I thought it went perfectly. So here we go. There's that. That um, is from Box Lunch. If you have any questions as to where I got anything in this video, and I forget to mention it, please, please leave a comment in the comment section, and I will get back to you. All right, and then we have this uh, little sign, room of requirement. And I actually added these keys. I had a bunch of these extra little keys and I mainly added them because this is supposed to be like a hanging sign and it had like two big holes right here. So um, I tried to cover them up. Ta-da! It is my very own little reading nook. Here, let me step in here real quick. This is a rather large closet or a very small reading nook. <laughs> so I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's let's start with the back of the door. I have all of the flags here. Um, I do have some of these posters that I made and that I printed off. Just floating about. And then this has a little window here, which I thought was so cute. And I added some beautiful green curtains here. And then I really like the ties, these little moon ties. And then I have this Ollivander's sign right above my little wand collection here. So, so beautiful. Pretty much everything in here I got from Amazon or Spirit Halloween. <laughs> um, but this one I did get from Bath, or not Bath and Body Works, oh my gosh, Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble. And I thought this was the coolest thing. This is so well made. It's incredible. I mean, this is like heavy duty, but it looks like a scroll. And I mean, if you're a Harry Potter collector, I know you've seen this, but just, wow. It even has their like signature on there. Oh my gosh, the cutest thing. Um, let's see. And all around, I do have, like, Hogwarts letters <laughs> as, like, the border. And then, oh yeah, the curtain rod I thought was really cool. Also from Amazon. And I, of course, have the floating candles all around. Um, I don't know if any of the floating candles work currently because the batteries have been dying left and right. But um, when the lights are on, it is really, truly spectacular. I love the ambiance in here. Okay, let's move to uh, this wall, which is my gallery wall. I absolutely adore this wall. I mean, wow. I... I love gallery walls and I always wanted to do one and this was my chance. So here I made like the flying keys but in a frame. They're actually hanging by um, fishing line which you can kind of see but uh, this frame didn't come with like a cover so I used it for that and then all of these are just like random prints that I found and it's just truly like, I just, I love everything about this wall. This one especially, I don't know, it reminds me of, like, a little window, and I'm, like, looking out, and I see 
that like in the distance. I, it, it's just gorgeous. Wow. All right. And straight down is my little couch, my little love seat. It is so adorable. Um, I went back and forth on which couch to put in here. I uh, went through so many different colors and everything. I knew I wanted a velvet one for sure, but I just could not decide on the color and the style. But um, I really wanted something uh, like a Victorian style or um, something really just really, really intricate in work and everything. But unfortunately, those things cost an arm and a leg. So I had to go with this. I believe this is from Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Um, and wow, it, it was just perfect. I had already gotten these two pillows and they were already blue. So I thought I would represent all of the houses, you know, so I have the green for Slytherin. I have the blue for Ravenclaw, of course. And um, just like if I had like a neutral couch, it would look better. So I was originally like definitely leaning towards either a maroon or a green love seat, but this just worked out perfectly. And um, for Gryffindor, I have this beautiful, beautiful rug. It's absolutely gorgeous and fits this little room like a glove. It's literally like wall to wall. Um, it was just perfect. I got this off of Amazon as well. Um, this is just like the textbook I happen to be reading. Um, I did haul this before, so make sure to check out, like I said, my TikTok and everything. I always upload things like that on there. I really wanted a little table in here for me to put my laptop or, you know, drinks or whatever. And this was just absolutely perfect. I found this at TJ Maxx, I believe. You know, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And this is just so cool. It actually has plugs in here. Um, and it can actually fold out to get bigger, like so. Which I thought was perfect. This is like exactly what I wanted. But um, I mean, of course, like I, I pull it out if I need the full table but this was exactly what I wanted and I happened to find it like pretty much the exact week that I talked about this kind of table so it was fate and it's even better because it can slide all the way down so I mean this is definitely a closet so I try to make use of as much room as possible so if, like the little table can slide over and not take up precious real estate then you know I, I don't know it's just perfect perfect find I really like the wood um, staining and everything. So there's that. Then when we go over here, this is the busiest part of the room, as you can see. I'll just give you a little overview first. And um, if you remember, um, previously I did have the Harry Potter decor all in the study, but my husband kicked me out of the study He's like, I need my study, I, I, and I'm distracted with all the Harry Potter stuff, which was a total excuse because he has not once used that study after that. So it doesn't matter because I love this little room a hundred times more than I did when I had all this in the study. I just thought it was perfect. So if you've seen that room tour, um, I'll link that down below. It's pretty much everything in that room crammed onto this one shelf which I love. I just have books and all these little potion bottles and stuff that I made. I love it. And there's of course the sorting hat and yes, he actually talks and sorts you. And pretty much every time I wear him, I get Gryffindor, but I'm very much a Ravenpuff. Very much. I'm like equal parts Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, but um, I am wearing my Gryffindor PJs today, so I don't know. And each of these are so special. Like, I don't know if I can show you. Like, if I shake this, do you see the magic? Do you see the magic? And this was actually full. I don't know if it's because it's um, alcohol in there that it evaporated. Half of it evaporated. I don't know what's going on here. But there's that. 
liquid lock and there's polyjuice potion and if you shake that up there's also like glitter in there as well the flu powder that i made mermaid tears i opened up the clothes this was supposed to be my um little snitch but uh, i did not have time to complete it but this was the best i could do for now and i have butter beer and a little trolley in the back with my um pop figures and a little love potion of course as you can see, a uh, chocolate frog. Um, let's see. I don't know. I just really, really loved decorating this room. I love the vibe. Mini um, pop figures right there, which I actually did it, uh, like a daily unboxing. This was from an advent calendar a year or two ago. It's all on my TikTok. And more crafts right here. And when we come down, we have more of these glitters going around. And I have some floating shelves here, which I got off of Amazon. Again, these were the perfect size. Oh, and I also got a lot of things from Pottery Barn as well. Just uh, the same as my um, my PJs are from Pottery Barn. This mirror is from Pottery, Pottery Barn. <laughs> um, so is... That pillow the first shelf just has some random bits and bobs i mean they all have random bits and bobs honestly but uh these are just candle like pedestals and i just have some pumpkins this is some mina lima artwork uh, i have extra candles in here battery operated and my harry potter mug a little magic kingdom key and some books pumpkin juice which i made black cat this is actually a candle holder this really cool crystal that i got from salem when i went for halloween um last year i believe really really cool and on this shelf i have the marauders map and this is by far the coolest marauders map i've ever seen because it has an interactive wand so freaking cool i got it from universal magic potion it's just a room spray this uh, little lock magic thing. Just have it there for looks. <laughs> Gideon's, if you've been to Disney Springs, then you know. And I thought this candle pedestal would really fit the vibe here. And there's Ron. He is so adorable. I love these. I actually have all of them, which I'll show you in just a second. But Ron is definitely my favorite. He looks so adorable. And here I have another candle holder. Some beautiful crystals. This is actually a wall plug-in from Bath & Body Works, but it was like a little haunted house, and I really like the look of it. And then my favorite, Mina Lima books. If you've never read Harry Potter, or you're not much of a reader, or whatever it is, or maybe you've read Harry Potter and you need a little extra magic, a little extra oomph, please check out the Mina Lima um, versions they're so cool. They're like interactive. Really, really cool. Um, I did show you guys in a previous video, but I, they've only come out with like one, two, and three so far. Each year they come out with a new one, so I'm very much looking forward to the fourth one. And in the middle here, we have the Mirror of Erised. Right here. I got the small one with the hooks from Pottery Barn, mainly because that was the only one that fit here. <laughs> the other ones were too big, even though I really, really wanted them. Um, this one was like kind of like the last one I was interested in, but it just fits so perfectly in here that I just had to do it. And it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The details and everything are just incredible. This is the remote for all of the floating candles. And here I just have some extra like bits and bobs in here, extra keys and little scrolls. A little key here another one right there and then this one is actually supposed to be like a soap holder or something from uh, bath and body works but it holds all of my uh like pens and pencils and also my bookmarks just extra bookmarks i have here i actually made these and then hanging from this mirror are some more 
like little goodies here. So let me show you. This is another Magic Kingdom key. It's actually a keychain. Then I have my Christmas stocking. This is probably one of the most gorgeous Christmas stockings I've ever seen in my life. And then I have Harry Potter here. I got him back in 2017. Very, very cute. This is just a lip gloss. I don't know why that's here, but anyways. And over here I have this Diagon Alley sign. Um, I, I didn't know where to put it, so I just left him up there for now. And it's this Butterbeer I made. I made several versions of Butterbeer. I love making props like this. It's so much fun. And then I have my little coasters here. And all four houses are there, of course. And then this is another ornament, but I just love the detail on this. How gorgeous. This uh, is supposed to be the dragon egg. <laughs> I did the best that I could. I had this like egg-shaped container from Drunk Elephant, from like this uh, skincare brand. And uh, I DIY'd my own little uh, dragon egg, as you can see. <laughs> Tried the best that I could. And I have my favorite candle in here, pumpkin carving, on top of this little bow tie. Um, tuxedo, what's it called? Candle pedestal. Oh my goodness. And then in this little cake stand, I have my little cauldron, which I actually used to always use for soup. It's actually supposed to be a soup bowl. And some really pretty books here. And all of my most favorite books in here. I, of course, have all of my Harry Potter books here, and then, like I said, I have all of the little figurines. These are the cutest Harry Potter figures that I've ever seen. Even the Death Eater looks cute. And on this wall, right next to the door, we have this sign, which is so cool. I love it. I love that everything is hanging off of this chain. Really, really cool. It's from Spirit Halloween. And then right below it, this spot was just so empty. So I decided to get this mirror, which it looks like like a normal everyday mirror. I mean, beside the fact that it's like shaped like this, it's very gorgeous. But when you turn it on, it looks like another dimension into Hogwarts. And I'll show you guys real quick. It's still pretty sunny outside, so hopefully you can see it, but this is the mirror off, which I like because it makes the room look bigger, but this is when you turn it on. How gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see it. It looks even better in person. And it's just my favorite to just either be on my phone or a laptop and have just this light on and some of the um, floating candles. But the ambiance in here, when you have this on, is spectacular. This is also from Pottery Barn. I also have this throw blanket, which perfectly matches this pillow. They're both from Spirit Halloween, and it's just so nice to cuddle up on this little love seat and have a good book, have some tea, and oh my gosh, it's literally my favorite room in the entire house. And it's it's just a dream. I've always wanted a reading nook, and I'm just so, so grateful for this. I, oh, I'm just obsessed. I mean, sometimes I literally just sit in here and just stare at everything. Like, it's literally my happy place. I, oh, and I know I'm saying literally so much, but it really is. A 10-year-old me would be so, so happy. <laughs> All right. So that is it for my little magical Harry Potter room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!